So welcome to my second part of finding off-piece trails at Holden Forest. So this is one down here which I'm just about to go down and there's five parts to it. As I know it's quite hard to find off-piece trails sometimes and you don't know where they lead. So hopefully this video will give you the confidence to go off and explore more off-piece trails. So the trail that I'm going to be riding today is just off the side of the Kiddens trail, the blue trail, and it weaves in between all the trees and there's an easy way uh, up at the top which comes down and that will join just onto the Kiddens if you don't want to go down to the further bit of the Kiddens because some people might want to do that really nice flowy uh, open area of the Kiddens trail. So this is the first section of the trail. It follows right along the Kiddens trail. It is quite flat and you have to keep pedalling otherwise you're going to stop quite quickly. Personally, I'd say the Kiddens Trail is a lot quicker as it's straight downhill, but this one's really fun. It's short and is good to warm you up if you're a bit cold. Good morning. Okay, keeping going. And still pretty routine, slightly steeper, and loads of line choices. Really rooty, quite slippy, especially in the wet. I can just feel my rear wheel sliding everywhere. You pump bumps. So, continuing down the trail, we don't have much more until we go into the more really technical sections. Still so, soon tricky. you have the choice either to go straight on and continue with the really off piste sections which gets um, slightly more technical or you can either just follow the rest hey. of the kiddens depending on what you want to do okay continuing down here. okay so this just comes out and this is an uphill and a downhill on the blue personally i think this is one of the best options as here's the blue and it just goes straight down there and that's into the open section, which is quite nice. Uh, and that's really fun down there. Or there's another section, which you might see in this film or my next film, which is straight down there. And that's a pretty nice section as well. If you keep going straight on, it's perfectly fine and you're not going to find it too hard to lose the track, as that is the main blue trail. If you turn right off the blue trail, then it's slightly harder but I'm going to give you full directions on how to find it and also I'm going to link my Strava ride that I did down below so then it's easier to find especially if you're out there. So what some of you so might be wondering section. is how to find oh, that section. So if you keep going along the blue trail, so this is after the uphill this will be the and soon you'll see we'll come up, up to the section. That open section of the trail. So here is the big yeah. open area which you usually find on the trail. Now let's continue on the point of no return for about half a mile or a mile. So this section isn't too hard, okay. it starts off quite over easy the and then gets harder. And then once it's got harder it goes back to being easy. instead of the left fork and this is the second junction and they're pretty close to each other so you can't really miss it too much. Now let's continue down the rest of the trail. Okay so down here there's some really nice pump pumps they're quite big. So this is a really fun really section are. I find personally. They're not too big but it's really pumpy and you can get, get some over. good speed if you're pumping enough but sometimes it is slightly harder to pump depending on the weather and how it is that day. So after the pumps you have this steep roller down which isn't too technical. You just want to make sure you don't go over the handlebars 
And don't slide out because it wouldn't be the best place to. When you're going down here, all you need to make sure is you're taking the right line and you're far enough back on the bike that you don't go on over the handlebars. And if you're on a full suspension bike, your suspension settings aren't too low. So now we're going to go up this fire road for about 100 metres and then we're going to turn left off the track. So from the main track, you want to turn left off to this section, which is down there. And then there's a fork in the trail where you can either choose to go left or right. Left is probably if you're not so good at riding. It gets ridden less and is less technical. Right is if you want a bit more challenge and there's a few jumps on the right and some steep berms. So it doesn't matter which way you pick because they all end up at the same place. So straight away you can see the fork and I'm going to go right. Okay, so now taking the off piece trail, it's slightly rooty in places and it's quite flat here. So I'm going to build up some speed. And then here, you go straight on. So this section you want to continue straight on on the path you'll be able to tell because it looks a bit more rutty and like cyclists have been there and it's in line with the other track that you came from okay so continuing down the trail it's pretty so now the trail is starting to get a little bit more technical and slightly steeper. So here you can see one of the steep sections of the trail and there's a mini jump which you can do the near the end. It's only optional. So it is now pretty steep and it's getting steeper as you can see. So here's some mini small jumps which you can take going along the trail. Now we're coming up to one of the most technical sections of the trail. Two big drops or very steep roll downs. First attempt, let's see how I do. So this attempt wasn't very good and I basically sat on the saddle. Second attempt, let's see how I do. So this attempt I did it a lot better as I didn't sit down on the saddle and I stood up. So now we're coming up to it and soon we should just be able to sit. Here it is. And then straight down easily, no problems. Now let's see what the next one's like. First time down, perfect and fine. Not too hard, but I definitely found this one harder as it was a lot steeper and a lot slippier after. So here it is from another angle. Now that we've conquered the two hardest bits of the trail, let's continue and see what the rest of the trail is like. But not too far yet. So this is one of the trickier features on the trail. You can either jump over it or you can either roll down it. It's quite hard to roll down it, so if you want to roll down it, keep your weight back. Jumping, you need some skill to jump over it. But if you can jump over it, I think it's a lot easier. So in this gully, it's quite slippy as all the sides have been worn away. And then when it gets a lot open, you can pick up some good speed. But mud is quite slippy and you might be able so to see that section, it gets a bit easier. all the mud flicking up Unless by my camera. Oh, it's a few steep bits again. But otherwise it flattens out a lot more. Quite gully here. You just want to watch this speed. Quite root. You see? And that is where the other trail all joins. And now we're rocks. pretty much back at the blue. So here you can see where both trails meet. You can see the easier, less technical one on the right, and the harder, more technical one on the left. 
and there's me down there. So now the trail goes straight down there and then pretty much 50 metres after that you go straight back onto the puddings and you can follow it going no right ways along the trail from where we are currently here we are back at the kiddens and now we can go and enjoy the rest of the ride thank you for watching this video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video